Hello, this is Chris Neal from South Plains College. Welcome back to my Pro Tools How-To Video Series, MIDI 1. The following video is on using pre and post roll to punch record in MIDI. So we'll be looking at punching in and using pre and post roll to replace a part and to add to or merge MIDI data into a part. My keystrokes and modifiers I'm using will be shown at the bottom of the screen. Here's a key to the symbols that will be used for the modifiers. Shortcuts that we'll be using pre and post roll on and off command K and turning on and setting pre and post roll option clicking with the selector tool. Welcome back. Here's the session as we left it at the end of the last video. So I've just duplicated the four bar loop and made it eight bars. So we've got a drum part, a percussion part, and a bass part. So I want to change the last two bars of this bass line in the repeated section. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me to have to record the whole bass when all I really want to do is change the last part of it. So I need a way to punch in and record just this section of that. So pre-roll is setting a designated amount of time before the selected area that will be recorded that will play to lead you in. So I'm going to uh, make this selection again in slip mode because I like to have just a little bit of room before that place where I want to record just in case I play the note a little early. So I need to turn on pre-roll. So I'm going to go to the transport. Here's one of the places that you can turn that on. So in the bottom left hand corner, you see pre-roll. I can click and type in a value. So I want two bars, for example, and then hit enter and that will accept that number and turn on the pre-roll. So we see the yellow flag appear up in the timeline here, and that can be moved and adjusted up there as well if I want to uh, adjust it a little bit. So what is pre-roll? When I hit record in this scenario, Pro Tools is gonna play this section before and then it will drop into record for that highlighted section and drop out of record at the end of the highlighted section. So it allows me to hear the part in context before the part I want to record. So before we record, let's look at one other way that's a little bit more convenient as far as workflow is concerned for turning on and setting the pre-roll. So I select the area that I want to record and with the selector tool or the smart selector tool, I'm going to option click where I want to start the pre-roll and that will turn on and set the pre-roll to that point. So setting up to record, we don't want to have loop play or loop record on because we want to replace this and this is MIDI so we don't want to be in MIDI merge so we want to turn MIDI merge off because we want to replace the data not merge new data in. So we have our edit and timeline linked loop record off, loop play off, merge is off. We're ready to go so let's uh, hit record. Okay we hear the count off. Pro Tools goes into play. We're in pre-roll. Pro Tools punches in for us. I play the new bass line. Pro Tools punches out and stops. So let's look at a different scenario. Instead of replacing, I want to merge. So I want to do a punch where I'm merging instead of replacing. So at the end of the drums, I want to change and put in a little snare roll at the end instead of the uh, normal fill. So I'm going to go into note view with the pencil tool, option click on those notes and delete them. All right, let's make this a little larger. I'm going to get the selector tool and I'm going to highlight the area that I want to punch in. So there we go. I'm fine with the pre-roll as it already is set, but if I wanted to option click, uh, I could do so and set that. So I'm going to go on to merge mode because I want to add to this. I don't want to delete the hi-hat and kick that exists here. I want to add in a different snare than what I had. So my pre-roll is set. I've got timeline and edit selection linked. I'm not loop play or record, and I am in MIDI merge. So record, so we get the pre-roll, the play, and then it drops into record. I play the snare part, and we drop out. So let me scroll up here so you can see the part that was added. That's way up here, so scroll, and there's the little snare roll that I put in. So one other issue with pre and post rolls, you want to be able to turn it on and off because you want it when you're going to record and punch in, but other times you don't want it on. So problem with pre-roll is you click where you want to start playback, and then it actually starts playback at the pre-roll amount. So we want to be able to turn that on and off really quickly and easily. So we can go to the options menu and choose pre and post roll, but again, shortcuts is the way to go here. Command K to turn on and off pre-roll so that's a good one to know because you'll want it on when you're punching in but you'll want it off otherwise all right thanks for watching